This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, this is pretty much taken over the whole day, so we'll finish it off with this, and let's go to sleep, And or maybe you're waking up. This will be the, hopefully the last time you hear about this one right here. Okay, um, so Mo3 was traveling northbound, uh, I think I-35 or whatever it is, and a vehicle, they say a dark vehicle approached him, and uh, they got him to pull. He pulled over. I guess they were. They must have been like flashing at him or something because he felt like the only way out of this situation was to pull his car over, get out of his vehicle, and start running the opposite way on the highway. Uh, so when he pulled over, the aggressor pulled over got out and started letting off at him on the highway. And they actually uh, struck somebody else, an innocent bystander. And this is going to be, uh, they're going to really have to look for this person. This is, this is crazy, man. Uh, I have, I really find this hard to believe that this was a, a rapper thing. You know, I think this was something else. Maybe Mo3 was into something else. On the side, and it went south. Maybe he owed somebody money. Could have been a lot, guys. He could have still been, you know, doing whatever. And, you know, got into it with somebody. And they waited for him. Followed him. You know? It seems like somebody followed him onto the highway. Pressed him. And uh, he got out. He he had no way out. And, you know, because if somebody got a you know, weapon pointed at you, you're on the highway, you're both going the same direction. You know, you don't want to get in a high speed chase with them. It was kind of a clever move if he could get away, but he, he couldn't. Um, very sad, man. This is like, this is like a movie, you know, like this is weird right here. So Mo3, uh, his label issued a statement cause he was signed. And uh, they issued a statement here. Um, Empire. So I guess he was off Def Jam. I thought he had signed a Def Jam. Has uh, lost. So Empire's lost two artists this week. They've lost King Vaughn and they've lost Mo3. They say, we share this horrible loss with Mo3's family, team, and fans, his infectious personality, and unrivaled talent brought joy and therapy to his legions of followers across the country. We can only hope to continue his legacy and push forward with the same energy that Mo3 shared with the world. Love, live, and Mo3. Mo3, sorry. Um, Yeah, this is like a weird... Boosie's obviously, you know, was co-signing him and... um, Definitely wanted him to take off. You know, uh, this is a, this is a weird instance, and uh, whoever did that is like that's 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 really reckless, man. Um, just so weird that King Von and him in the same week. You know, it's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's horrible. You know, it's horrible. Uh, we'll have to see how everything develops with everything. Uh, getting on to other news, Chris Brown launches a OnlyFans account. It's getting spooky out here for these artists. I don't understand. They're, they're, they're either launching OnlyFans or they're starting a podcast out here. It's getting weird. They really need to figure out how to open these shows up. Now, Ticketmaster has a couple, um, like, ideas of opening shows. Like, either you get the, the vaccine or... You get tested like a, a, a 24 hours before the show to make sure you're good. Um, but they're they're trying to find a way to open shows up next year. Of course, <laughs> they're going to do that. You know, uh, things are going to ease up next year. They're either going to get more restricted or ease up next year. We'll see which way they take things. There's a, there's a weird energy going on in this country right now. And I can't put my finger on it, but it's weird. But um. A lot of businesses are going under because of all this. Uh, This is really sad. And at one point, you got to think, you know, should you uh, should you open up? Just keep restrictions on. 
and let people like have a chance to make it you know like people some people say no you know because people could get get it you know but you don't have to go eat at a restaurant you don't have to you don't have to go shopping at, at a grocery store they have actually most grocery stores have converted to where you could do pickup you don't have to actually shop you don't have to do anything you can stay home you know and I think they're going to have to make that, you know, I think we're deep enough in this now where they're going to, you know, because like more people will be on the street and they'll, 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 they'll get something else, you know, something else will happen. It's not easy being in the street, you know, with no, no roof over your head. So, you know, they got to figure like smart people got to figure something out. There's a lot of people with agendas trying to figure something out. We need people that like really know what they're doing. As far as like considering both scenarios, I don't need a politician to figure it out, you know, and I don't need a, a, a doctor that's paid by politicians to figure it out, you know, like let's get something, something different. I'm not the, I wasn't elected for anything. So you, you they got to figure this out. Yeah. Uh, get, get a third agency involved. Meek, Meek is uh, tweeting up a storm. Meek Mill. Uh, so he says, pretty soon everybody going to have to pick... He's reacting to like, you know, everything that's going on with rappers. Uh, pretty soon everybody's going to get to pick a side. Too much real stuff going on to be cool with everybody. Ain't finna... Fin, fitna. Ain't fitna beef with no girl. She minds too. Vaughn. Then he says, if you my dog op, you an op. Like, you know, it's just more divisive talk <laughs> from Meek Mill uh, regarding rappers. Y you know, it's like maybe just not tweet at all. He tweets a lot of random stuff. I was going through his Twitter. He said, I fell out with a lot of people because I couldn't just go along with their social media image, with their fake social media image. We used to be cool until you became an instant celeb. Ha 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 ha. Okay, you know, don't 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 hate on somebody else because they're dude, they're trying to get hot on social media. Meek has quotes for everything and everything. All of these rappers put a lot of work into everything. I like Meek Mill. I just think he tweets a lot. He says we both creeping too serious. Then he says, I need contacts on some. J okay, that that's fine. Ain't. Oh no, we already did that one. How about? Uh, yeah. Someone says, sometimes people must be escorted from VIP section of your life to regular seat. He said, yeah, that's what I do. I put people back in the crowd. He said, we praise the trenches like we ain't lost most of our dudes in it. See, that that's that's more that talk you need. Not the other stuff. And he said, uh, it'd be crazy when you see somebody you know in love and they... Oh, wait, say somebody you know... And love and they on celeb time. Let's just kick it. I miss you too. What are you talking about? Seeing you with that guy in that role I bought you. I just hope. <laughs> I need some celebrity judges in my talent show on CB. Huh? Talent show on Clubhouse right now. Millionaire's Club. What is he talking about? Like, what is he trying to do, like, a, a thing that Blueface is doing in his mansion? But, like, turn it into, like, a town show? I don't know, man. Meek Mill is confusing. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a good day. Let's, uh, hopefully today is better news, man. We don't get any negative stuff going on. Uh, today was just bad with the Mo3 thing. You know, it's like we just did the King Von thing. Now we're doing the Mo3 thing, and this story's even spookier. Even spookier, man. Um, I hope all you guys stay safe, stay inspired, stay focused on your dreams, stay focused on a clear path to make your dreams come true one step at a time. Know that nothing can stop you from your dream but yourself. You can separate yourself from negative energy. If something neg people, if people were being negative around you, like even your mom or your brother, you can take a pause from them to focus on your dreams. 
and just make sure you're just focused and you keep all the 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 negative vibes out because you can't afford to have naysayers when you're trying to make the impossible happen and the impossible can happen you just have to believe it can happen and you have to be consistent and not give up it's easy to give up easy to give up especially when you're not seeing results right away but you got to push forward through the hard times because after those hard times it just starts clicking eventually and you get little wins and you get closer and closer to your dream one step at a time and you'll get there i know it seems impossible now but tackle one problem at a time in your life we all have a mess of problems that we got to fix you can't fix a house at one time. You got to fix it one problem at a time. Use that same strategy with your life. You can't fix everything at once, but you can fix it one thing at a time until you fix everything. And there's always going to be something to fix, just like there's always something to fix in a house. I appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tower with JT News, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.